Hello all, how are you? In this video we are going to see how to implement awesome notification. In our previous video we have implemented Firebase uh, integration and we have received a simple push notification from Firebase by sending using the postman to FCM send uh, post service like this. In this video we are going to beautify the push notification display to the customer. So we are going to increase the user experience we can say like that so the these are the steps we are going to do to implement option awesome notification option awesome notification is a plugin flutter plugin which is available for us to use so the first, the first step is to add the uh, dependencies and then second one is to initialize and uh, like like that we'll slowly one by one do it there are three dependencies i'm going to use as you can see these are the steps there are totally seven steps involved in this uh, session. End of seventh step, we should be able to create beautiful option notifications in Flutter application. So these are the three dependencies we are going to add for implementing our notification screen. Option notification, photo view, cache network image. Why do we need cache network? image and photo view because we are going to display the notification with text and images that is why we need the photo view and cache network image dependencies along with the option notification okay the first step is done adding the dependencies and we have also executed the pub spec and the step two is to initialize the option notification option notification is working based on the channels notification channels where we have to define channels, option notification channels and channel groups then initializing it. So that is the step we are going to do. I am going to comment out the Firebase initialization and I am going to copy paste some code. So this code is nothing but initializing the option notification using different channels actually. So anyway we will use one only one channel but this is copied from the flutter dependencies uh, website so it contains all these uh, sample channel code and we have to have logo file we have to place it under android app src main res resolution resources folder under drawable we need to place this logo.png so that will be used by awesome notification while initializing it okay that is mandatory we are pointing out to logo so logo should be there uh, so li like i said uh, we have initialized notification channels then notification groups the awesome notification is working based on the working through notification channel and channel groups okay so the next step is to request permission from the user so this is related to user experience whenever we are implementing this kind of uh, extra steps we need to ask permission from the user whether they would like to receive notification in this awesome notification channel so that is what we are going to do next we are going to request permission from the user so that we don't you know affect the user experience so whatever we are going to do we are going to ask for the permission from the user so request permission to send notification option notification package okay so that is done so we have included the dependencies we have initialized the option notification we have requested the permission to send notification and receive notification using awesome package okay Don't worry about the source code. I will attach the source code link in the description, video description. Okay. So the next step is to write code to receive Firebase notification as well as send the local notification. Please note, also notification is not a separate uh, stuff which is uh, dealing with uh, your application. It is internally using Firebase push notification only. 
so what we are doing is in in our previous video we have implemented the firebase messaging right we have shown it in the dialogues dialog box so instead of showing in the dialog we have created a local notification using the json data received which is a remote message we receive a push notification from firebase and we send particular json part message dot data to the awesome notification method which is creating a local notification again so firebase notification is getting converted into local notification through option notification so now we have created a local notification we have to process it receive it so that is what this code is doing also notification dot action stream when you listen to action stream you receive the option notification created local notification data which is received action so the received action is the one which we need to process and display as per our design or wish so the process default action received is the method which we are going to create where we will define how our notification is going to display to the user okay now we have implemented the method it has a flutter toast flutter toast is to display some toast message action received this cannot be you know um, this this you can re just remove or command it out while releasing to production otherwise it will annoy the user so this is for our purpose that we have received it so and then we have a single turn page loading so we have to load the notifications uh, only once if it is already opened we don't load it as a separate window we will uh, load it in the same um, target that is why we have singleton page now we have included the filter toast in the dependencies so now we will import that dependency filter toast okay filter toast is to display action received message for the user once the pub spec uh, gets updated we will import the flutter toast in the main dot dot file the next step is to include some roots roots are nothing but if the awesome notification is sending message or received from the message what should be the page notification detail page we are designing a separate page to display to the user so what is that page that is what we are mentioning in the roots so now we mentioned target page page notification details that has to be mentioned in the roots dot dot so the roots dot dot has the detail page notification detail what is the root name and what are the parameters like we are passing the received notification to the notification page which we are going to de design in a few minutes okay so now we have designed our uh, we have initialized uh, and we have s s I mean send the local notification and uh, listening to the awesome notification channel the next step is to mention the roots in the main dot dot material app this is important we have to mention the parameters roots in the material app in the main dot dot file so in this in this way the notification hyphen details is getting published so when when page notification detail is called from the home uh, init init page it will associate the notification page which we are going to design now so that is the notification page we will design for the users how to display okay now we are going to create a notification screen we create a notification directory under that we create instance directory as well as components directory and so under that so this is our notification screen we are designing so we have received notification push notification from firebase we have created a local option notification using the firebase received push notification then we have also received by listening to action stream and now we got the message and now we are passing the particular received message to this page page notification push notification page dot dot that is our design 
where we design our text image display screen so please note instead of showing simple message in the dialog box we are going to display it in the separate page that is what we are doing now i'll share the source code in the description or comment so don't worry it will be available for you please follow the series of videos from the beginning creating flutter application starting from at the end of these videos you will be able to develop production grade filter application that is our target now we have designed our push notification page to explain it simply this is a push notification page we will have title date received and then image and the and the bottom of the image the description or the body of the message that is the structure we have designed here i will show you anyway so the push notification body and the notification with the details are components i separated the components like body part as well as the notification with the image part separately and include it in the push notification page instead of defining designing everything in a single page so i used cache network image package so in the push notification i send it as a url so using cache network uh, image dependency i load the url image and display it in the as a push notification screen okay all set another one important thing to be done is we have to make some on write manifest file changes you have to add intent filter named flutter notification click and some more properties red colored one like this one and that's it we are done so almost we have done all the steps step 1 adding dependency step 2 authorization step 4 sending and listening notification step 5 listen step 6 on write specific changes step 7 is designing our page which i have done so now we are going to execute the application and see how it is working So finally checking everything is okay. Forget about the uh, app load localization error. It will be solved because it is there already. But it will the in Android Studio will warn you as a error. But uh, don't worry about it. It will not stop you from deploying the application to the emulator. Now I am installing the application to the emulator. keeping the fingers crossed we will see how it is displayed so as i mentioned i am going to use postman to post push notification using the firebase fcm url where uh, i send the message to the device so you, you need to have a device id emulator device id that that you have to put it in the two so this is the json the two you have to put your device id device token and this is the url i'm using this is google's firebase url and i have if you see data is there content is there the data is very important that is the data part which we are processing and uh, constructing our notification page the beautiful notification page using awesome notification package so i'm sending it now so it is success yeah you see it is received also and this is so this is the thumbnail and the image overview if you click it it will open it in the full screen yeah title the sent date and the body text yeah so that's all about this video if it is helpful please like comment share and subscribe to the channel
தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் யுவர் டைம்